to buy a car which costs five million naira. That is a very clear goal. If your goal is bigger than your income, get an extra income, guy. Yes. Trust me, your health can eat deep down into your opinion. Like you want to do something good, you're not because you hello. That day has diabetes, you have this thing. To the hospital, you're asking for fifty thousand naira. Go you don't have where you are going to, you are just merry go right there. <laughs> yeah. My name is Deborah. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, well, you are welcome in the name of the Lord. If you are new here, welcome. I live in Lagos, Nigeria, and I film about business, finance, and lifestyle. So today we'll be talking about how to save more money in 2022. Ways that can help you meet your savings target fast. Because I realize a lot of people make money, but they are struggling with how to save it. So if you'll be interested in saving more money for that your big goal to buy a car, to buy a house, to furnish your apartment, to move to a bigger space, or even to build a multi-million dollar project because you have too much money, I think it's the first point on how to save more money every month is have a saving goal. You have to be clear on what you want to do to know how to go about it. Now I'm going to Abuja and I don't know I'm going to Abuja. I'll just be merry granting. But if I'm clear about my destination, I am going to Abuja on Saturday. I know how to move, right? So I have a saving goal. What big thing do you want to save for? Do you want to save for business? Do you want to save for a car? Do you want to save for a house? Do you want to save for your child? Do you want to save to Japa? Oh, this is for the Nigerians. Japa means leave the country. So what are you saving for? The first thing is get a pen and a note. Write what you want to save for and the cost of what you are saving for. E.g., I want to buy a car which costs five million naira. That is a very clear goal, right? Before you now go to how to meet up with your goal. The next point is if your goal is bigger than your income, get an extra income, guy. Yes, you need an extra income. For instance, if you are any eight thousand naira per month, and let's say your goal is to move out of Nigeria move out of the country which would cost you seven million naira in the next three years you have to travel out of the country please you would eat you live you would, you need shelter you need feeding clothing transportation all these things that basic need and you have to remove them from the eighty thousand naira how do you intend to save your jackpot money from the eighty thousand naira it's almost not possible so you have to get an extra income i made a video on site also I'll add it to the video. Please go back and watch that video. Side also that can make you money. You have to think of ways to make more money. So when you are not clear on something additional you can do to make you more money, because your goal is bigger than your present income, right? Then that is the next thing to do. Get an extra income. The next thing is buy in bulk. Now, someone like me since 2014, I was very young then, I started buying in bulk. When I was on the level at university, when they gave me money, now let's say for feeding, for clothing, all of my things I buy them in bulk. Now, tomato paste I will use in cooking. If they are selling it in the market for 50 naira, if you want to buy it in your street, you are most likely to get it for 8 naira. So I prefer to go to the market, buy six tomato paste for 50 50 naira, which is 250, than buying 8 naira per one in my street. So buy in bulk. If possible, your your normal needs like your clothes, your slippers, bags, the things you need, that's for women. For men, your shoe, belt, buy them in bulk. Go to where you can buy in bulk. Instead of buying one slippers for 1000 you can buy three for 2000 So it helps you save. I know it can be like, mm, how much is the difference? Just 300 just 400 But let me make an analogy for you. Let's say you're able to cut out 5000 naira from 200 naira a year, 500 naira a year, from the normal things you buy, say, instead of buying a, a one slippers for 1,000, you bought three, you bought it for 2,000, that is 1,000. If you are able to save 5,000 naira in a month from buying things in bulk, instead of buying one, 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 5,000 naira times 12, that is 60,000 naira in a month. Hello, please, how much is land in here, you like it? <laughs> that you can buy with 60,000. <laughs> That's a joke anyway, but what I'm saying is 60,000 can buy something. This one with me is my business phone. I use it strictly for my business and I think I got it for 60,000. You understand? So 60,000 has value. You can use that 60,000 in buying something reasonable for you. You can use it to buy, you can use the money in buying something reasonable for yourself. So don't look down and say, um, 300 year. You know, people will say, 
and you are your low who is your <laughs> I, I don't know maybe I got the idea but small 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 before you know it the money we it will come together in box so all of this little money you look down on be intentional about what you buy and when you buy them buy in bulk except for perishable stuff and you should know that the more you buy the cheaper it is so if you can be buying in two two weeks depending on your financial capacity if you, if, you, if you can afford to buy what you need for the next two months buy if you can afford to buy what you need in the next one month buy if you can afford to buy what you need in the next two weeks buy but make sure you are buying those things in bulk so that you are not spending more money from the money you really do not have I hope you understand. So that leads us to the next point. The next point is locate the most affordable store near you. Now, I want to make it clear. Buying in bulk does not mean you are not buying it expensive. Yes. Now, if you are buying in your area, even if you buy six tomato paste, the same example we used earlier, they will say calculate eight naira times five for you, which is four hundred. So you have to locate where things are much cheaper. Be friendly with people. So when you move to it, so you ask people so you can buy from the blog, gun gun gun, the main blog. <laughs> they get it. So ask people what people around. Someone like me, I save towards getting my clothing and I buy my clothing in bulk. If I'm going to the market, I buy I can buy like 10 pieces and I just know that I'm closing my eyes for the rest of a couple of months. It could be six months, it could be a year. So I buy my stuff in bulk. And trust me, you can see me wearing clothes and they are selling that clothes for 15000 And perhaps I got mine for 8000 I was showing someone a bag, a particular bag I bought for... I think I bought the bag for 8000 Naira. And they were selling that bag for 20000 Naira. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> so imagine, but because I bought the bags in the book, I think I bought like four there about that day. It wasn't one I bought. I was able to get good discount and I was able to save a lot of money. That is the cheapest you can find that bag. Like I have I've seen people sell for 15k, 16k, but that was how much I got my because I bought it in book. So if you can afford it, I'm not saying if you cannot afford, if you can afford it, ask for the most affordable store. Ask people like Ibadan. If you stay in Ibadan, Pinaku is the most affordable place to buy stuffs. Things are very cheap, your ghost trees. Your baking soap, your cream, perfume oil, roll on, buy them in bulk if you can afford it. Ask for where you can get them at cheap price. If you see a friend that wears nice stuffs, or maybe someone that stock up their own, feel free to ask, please, where do you get these things at cheap price to be able to save money? The next point is cancel unused subscriptions. Ask yourself the things you are paying for every month. Some people pay for Netflix, and in a month, they may be watching film on that Netflix just once ask yourself do you really need this is this really what you need what is the other option so instead of watching it instead of paying for netflix you watch once in a month why not disconnect the subscription then watch film on youtube the day you feel like watching film if you know you don't watch film on netflix however if it is a means of relaxation for you you feel good you use it like four times a week and you are using your money fine it is it is something you need to relax if that is your way of relaxing i'm not saying go and cancel netflix and don't watch film don't miss it up with me watch film because this life you have to enjoy yourself so allow me to enjoy myself i'm allowing you to enjoy yourself my voice is bad <laughs> so one thing is use what you need for instance maybe you are using canva pro to design and you rarely use the pro you use the normal canva but you're paying for pro Cancel it if the free version is saving you. And this is what happens. There are some apps like, say Canva, I'm not sure. I think there's an app I used. They'll tell you, enjoy one month free trial. Then you are going to put your cards here. After you have used the one month free trial, they'll just remove your money automatically. Just get a debit alert of, oh, 10,000 euros has been removed from your account. 10,000 euros, what did I do? So if you're using a free version of an app to do something make sure you set a reminder if the free version would be expiring on the 18th of next month set a reminder for 16th of next month so you remove it you remove your card details so they won't remove your money so if subscriptions that are not constantly used cancel them and look for a better option if you're using them fantastic use health insurance 
when it comes to health a lot of people don't take it seriously and trust me your health can eat deep down into your penis health is a big part of your life if you are not healthy i'm making this video because i'm healthy i'm in good health if you are not healthy you cannot do anything you cannot walk you will just be useless so in your best interest it is important to protect your health by having an health insurance and it is not expensive just like just that a lot of people do not have knowledge about health insurance i started my health insurance last year uh, my husband then he was my fiance he introduced me to the health insurance it's a insurance they call it hmo right hmo so you insure your health that means when something is wrong with you you go to the hospital they treat you they give you drugs you get consultation you do test if there's need for free and how much is it 1600 naira money for shawarma money for shawarma and ice cream but things happen to people at a point in time that they need to be in, in the hospital doctor will just diagnose them of something and the next thing there is a bill of 60,000 naira staring right in staring right in front of them like you have to pay you have to pay imagine spending the 60,000 naira you do not even plan for or account for but you have to spend it because if you are not healthy there's nothing you can do and then in this um last month january i wasn't feeling well i went to the hospital two times the first time friday i was in the hospital i had some symptoms i went to the hospital they did tests they gave me drugs and you won't believe the next tuesday i had issue with ulcer i had ulcer but i barely had the ulcer symptoms again so this thing just came back from the moon bam so i started having stomach pain and i could not sleep overnight tuesday morning i had to be rushed to the hospital they did tests they gave me drugs and i calculated the amount of um, money i would have spent if not because i got the drugs for free trust me i would have spent like twenty-five thousand naira between that friday and tuesday for the scan for the test for the drugs but you, guess what i did not spend the time because i am on hmo 1600 naira per month this is not to advertise for them i'm just sharing the things that has worked with me and has helped my finance imagine the year is just starting two weeks to the new year you are paying of oh, three weeks it was three weeks to the new year you are paying 25k for medical bills that's very frustrating you understand if medical issues come you know the all the money you are saving that you want to buy a car you want to buy this thing god forbid god will keep us in sand health but be prepared for the worst make sure you are on hmo do health insurance for the people that rely on you like your mom your dad not like you want to do something good you're not be calling you hello that they have diabetes they have this thing it's in the hospital they are asking for fifty thousand naira. no the people that are dependent on you do it i'll try and get the link on how you can register and i'll add it to the description box so that you can benefit from it just 1006 and since then i've been to the hospital and they just gave me drugs and don't think like oh there are some months i'm not going to use them february i've not been to the hospital this february but think that how about if the unplanned happened you are just protecting your finance however when it comes to insurance you can check other aspects of your life like insure your car insure your house insure your property but the most important one is health and i'm not here to talk about insurance this is just something that i feel like it has saved my finance since i started using it i know i don't have to worry about drugs consultation tests scan anything i just go to the hospital they do my checkup they ask for my complaint and they do the need for and i come home with my drugs and that has really helped in saving money okay let's move to the next point the next point is use a shopping list when going to shop i try to write down a list what are the things i want to buy number one so i do not forget what i want to buy in the market because as i am you will not pop ah you will not pop <laughs> that means thinking is but thinking is much my head is filled with a lot of things and i am most likely to forget that helps me not to forget number one number two is that keeps me in track i cannot say i'm going to the market to buy to buy clothes then i get to the market i'm not buying the one i have my list of the things i need and the things i am buying i will not buy what is not on my list so i have a list this helps you in staying on track and getting rid of expenses that you do not need okay so if you're buying food stocks write them down then what i do is when i write things down i try to write down three weeks before you know i'm going to the market i write it down after three weeks i look at the list again do i really need these things there are some things i would like i don't really need them it was just a once three weeks ago then i cancel it because it wasn't a need so work with the shopping list this helps you to 
stay in line with your budget then the last one for this one there will be part two i don't want this video to be too long so the last one for this will be automate your savings yeah automate your savings how do you automate your savings i use piggy vest and rice vest i use piggy vest to save in naira i use rice vest to save in dollar i'll try and get the link and add it to the description box so that you can download the app if you want me to do a video on um how to use piggy vest as you as you use rice vest please kindly drop a comment in the comment section if this content is helping you please give me a thumbs up so that youtube can show me to more people subscribe to my channel and drop a comment i would like to hear what you think drop a comment in the comment section okay share to your loved ones that need to hear this it's very important so the last part is automate your savings i use piggy vest and rice vest to automate my savings we talked earlier about having a goal be clear on what you want to do right if you don't have a goal your money you need to buy shawarma you buy goodie goodie you buy <laughs> you would dress like the big boys you'll be buying designers because you don't have a destination you don't have a goal you don't have where you are going to you are just merry go riding <laughs> so because you have a goal earlier you know the things you are saving towards for this year next year next three years why right so you automate your savings say you want to be saving twenty thousand naira or fifty dollars per month for this particular goal maybe for your children's school fee maybe for your assurance maybe for your jackpot plan you understand so automate your savings because of the plan you have had earlier of what you want to be doing then you automate your savings so my piggy vest and rice rice vest they automatically deduct my money i've been i've been using piggy vest for it for a while i started using rice vest that was last year 2021 they've been around for a while too and they have been saving me well rice vest is to save in dollar if you want me to talk about rice vest in the next video perhaps i could do that if you are interested let me know in the comment section okay so this is the last part please subscribe to my channel share to your loved ones that need this information because if you are growing alone and your loved ones are not growing with you they will pull you down and that's a period so share with your loved ones thank you for tuning in i'll see you in part two or how to save in 2022 thank you